This is Margaret Ann Wenser, and I really cannot say my name without living in fear. I put all this up, I turned to social media over the years, and it it has just, it's so ludicrous and sick what's being done in front of the world all my life. Oh, I was kidnapped in 41 at age two. My father is Edward VIII who married uh, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe from Madison, Wisconsin, American school teacher, sister to artist Georgia O'Keefe. He never married Wallace Simpson. They've done to me and my children about uh, on the order of what they did to my father. They just deleted my mom, had him marrying Wallace Warfield Simpson, the American spy. She married a double. There were several doubles that went around pretending they were my father, and they were doing all kinds of... Antics is a cute word to use for what they did. Uh, I'm listening to the storm warnings here in this town up here all afternoon. And I'm wondering, is God ever going to stop this hell? Because it it started back when I was kidnapped in Moulton, Alabama. Then NASA was at Huntsville. Who do you think built it? The United States says they don't pay ransom. They sure receive it in different ways. Treaties, sending scientists over and pretending you started um, NASA. When you kidnapped me, took down my dad, all of it lies, and God bless America. I wish it would, I, that's the only way this can be any kind of right brought around it. I'd like to hear what he has to say about it. I wish he'd show up. I'm serious. This is gone. I'm 80 years old. I live in fear they're going to come to my door, and after today, I can't even tell all that happened today. Maybe if I get out of this town, because I'm going to have to leave. I'm being run out of this town now. Haven't had a home. If you, You'd have to see it laid out. I'm not sure that many would care, because I've put it up here the best I can. Um, it's so ludicrous and hideous that it's been done, allowed to be done, and people hate me. I was telling you about mind control, about my kidnapping, which I know now most of you don't care about. Uh, I've done everything. It would take, like the women got out, and they protested, and they did all this, not for me, but for others in the past, and they got changes. Martin Luther King got in on marching, and, and then you get. I find out later that he and Reverend Andrew Young, I, I was in Atlanta writing a book about mind control, and it gets into me being kidnapped, and then I'm flown out to Larry Flint's, because I say that because I have uh, the magazine where he endorsed me for the presidency, uh, April of 84. He had been shot in 78 while I was doing the book, living at Moonraker Apartments in Marietta. And by the way, the district attorney, Buddy Darden, who prosecuted some of the cases, but you have to go back and look at this. And I like Buddy Darden, okay. But anyway, uh, let me just fast forward. Larry Flint was shot, and uh, the Tesla files that were stolen was, you can cure an illness or create it. I don't care what kind of illness. It could have been cured way back then. So your medical is all wrapped up in all this. You can program people to kill somebody else, not with just a gun, but that's been used in this to remove your guns, and you seem oblivious to it. Um, I can't remember right now what says John Hinckley shot, uh, supposedly shot Reagan. His parents had just had dinner with the Bushes the night before. How much do people have? And then I know that there's people who have actually stolen what I've put up here. And they're on YouTube now using stuff that could have only come from me. And it's just so preposterous. I wonder why I still 
care. Is I mean, it's it's really sick, and it can be just still covered up. So somebody can come in and say, well, you're rambling, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not. You just don't care. Now, if this goes up, I doubt it, because I came back, and now my phone and, and all of it, which I've explained, it was switched. So this is a look-alike phone. I've told all that. I've told it on here. I wanted to get this. Um... I, again, I put up about being taken from um, uh, where I was living. It was over on Third Lane Road, and it was it belonged to the same person that owns this one. I've been like had that's where I've had to stay, and when I got a HUD, the same thing would happen. I'm allergic to chemicals, so they would not. You've got your people, your managers still have their jobs in retirement. And, I mean, there's people that own, <laughs> that own uh, corporate suites and all this in this town. They have gotten wealthy. I passed one of them this morning since I've been in this town since 86. And I think, my God, he has gotten so wealthy. He's Jewish. And um, so much of this was done when I lived there, too, at his places. Then I'm run with chemicals. I've put up letters that support what I'm saying. I can't get an attorney and get it into court. It's who I am. So now then, where am I going with this? I really can't go back and go over what happened today. When, if I live through it, maybe I can. But I've lost feeling for people that I told about mind control and programming and what happened to me and my babies, at least part of it. And they can turn around and uh, enjoy doing stuff to me. And that happened today, and I'm not going to go anymore. I live here today, and I know that to even have a ride or anything else, I'm going to have to try to leave and lose what clothes that I somebody bought for me over the uh, year. Well, over the months, going on a year now, yeah. But the point, I wanted to tell this, if I can get it up here. I, just, it won't, I probably can't get it to upload. I came back and tried to, and it won't upload. Now, the videos, they've got it, because they've got my phone. Um, let me just get to today what happened. Uh, this is going to go over big. It's my word against <laughs> I'm the one telling the truth. You know, my insurance provider doesn't even know this. They know a bit because I've been told I should, uh, you know, get another doctor. Um, <laughs> um, the intern is the one that you have to get referrals and everything. I've, she's been my doctor since '09. Now then, um, I've tried to put as much as I could up and, you know, it doesn't go up on a 19-minute a video. And I don't have a very good presentation because this is a little video, though, video that's, I mean, phone that's so little, and I can't have my hair done. I'm telling it from experience from what happened to me and what I know. So where can I get back to so you can connect what's going on now? May the 6th. 2013, I lived over on Third Lane Road at another place, and a friend of mine helped me get on YouTube. So I started putting pictures and photos of the mold and mildew that if you sued someone, your health, what it's done to me, I can't hear. Uh, that's never been fixed, and it takes antibiotics, and my doctor won't uh, prescribe antibiotics, and evidently she's called up and got this. these doctors I went to. I went to urgent care, and suddenly she's gotten to them, and my gynecologist that I went to one time, and she's got me, uh, I mean, it's ridiculous. My God, where are people in all this? They'll come out and handcuff me, not them. This medical profession has gone on and on, their involvement in this whole mess. So anyway, get to the point. Well, I'm going to try to here.
And then it won't go up because I've made one and tried to. May the 6th, Nathan Boyle, who lives on Windsor Street here, W-I-N-D-S-O-R, my name. This gets into this whole stuff. Okay, I met him on the trail. He worked for the helicopter company, and it's gotten pretty um, fantastic where they are and the land they're on and all that. And he's got a part of it's my understanding now. Anyway, over a couple of years, um, he helped me, and I think the police got him, well, to give me a ride. And um, at time, there's a few times he helped me buy food because I, I kept penniless. It, I couldn't even pay the rent with what I get. Remember, you kidnapped me, America, and brought me over here. You didn't want the Queen of England or, or England, so you kicked us out under your uh, 1776. But you went on and took over my country. And by doing that, taking my father down and kidnapping me, what you got is your United Nations, which is your Illuminati, and the end times. So I'm not going to go through that again. I had no idea what I was writing about was the end times. But when you took my father down in 1936, that's when it began, and then when you kidnapped me. So now then it's the United Nations and Rockefeller headquarters is right there in New York, too. Your media, just like President Trump has said, is controlled. The whole friggin' media for ever since before I was kidnapped. So now, I want to get to this. There's mind control murders that were done in patterns. There's one that I had enough that all you had to do was put it up before the public and you could prove so you could go from there. They say it's not credible. What it is, they don't want it put up there. Uh, you got people who are in prison. Um, I better not say his name. He's a black man, Jesse Matthews. I do know. I think the state troopers has done all they could, except I bet I better. I'm gonna uh, not say anything more about that because this is part of what's coming after me now. Because I tell them the truth, trying to help the family. Anyway, their daughter was killed in all this, and he's very uh, doctor was way up. <laughs> and um, I'll leave it there. They know that Jesse Matthews didn't do it. He was under mind control. Now I'm going to get to this. My primary care, internist primary care, uh, let's go back to May the 6th of 19... Of 2013, what I was talking about. I was abducted. I was kidnapped. I was drugged again. Okay. Nathan, who had been taking me, and he would help me at times to go back out in the woods when it'd get so bad out in camp that I had to get away from the fumes. I have an autoimmune disorder. And, I mean, it can kill you, and that's what it's done. My hearing, all of the inflammation, tearing down my immune system. So he would help in doing that. What I needed, what I've said all along, is God to people help me stop what's happening to me. It's deliberate. Don't call me nuts and all this. Uh, this has happened to me. I've put enough up over the years to prove it. And now and then it's still like <laughs> people know it, but nobody's going to get together. I'm looking at Woodrow Wills. Oh, that's somebody's name up there. And he up in taking down the Romanovs and killing them, and their cousins, man. And you talk about Russia and got in on the United States. <laughs> you don't want to open the can of worms, America, where they tell the, have to tell the truth, and they'd take God coming in because the Romanov, the Russians didn't start squat. You did. You kidnapped the Romanovs and killed Anastasia up here, and I'm sitting here, and you took down my father, and God knows what you've done to my children. So you don't want the truth told. You don't want Julian Assange, God bless him, to cut loose anything. He's got to be able to tell the truth before the world. I assure you, he's an Aussie. He's British, and he knows all this. And look what you've done to him. 
land of the free and home of the brave. Tell the truth, so help you God. That's a big, fat lie. Now, back to being hijacked and the, Nathan Boyle, on the way back from uh, I, uh, taking me to, I had to uh, go and pick up, um, yeah, and a little bit of uh, a ride, let's put it this way, to where I was going and back. Okay, come back, and he stops at Bojangles and gets me chicken and Coke. Come back, and he normally, if I, he doesn't come in, because normally he doesn't help, I don't have food. He just gives me a ride. But he doesn't come to the door or anything. Uh, but he did. And instead of leaving, he pulled, at the door, he pulled the ottoman out and sat on it right there, like in front of the door. He got my, the, my phone that I had, which has since been stolen by this, God fearing going to church on Sunday, every Sunday the gates are open. She's there. And I'm the one that they would look at as because they want to is lying. They know different. There's nobody that doesn't believe this. Now I bet this goes off and I get nothing up here. Anyway, he sat there and he took my phone and I, I don't like anybody touching my phone, obviously, reasons. Well he took it. And then he said to me, do you want to finish your drink? And I said, well, yeah. And uh, he handed me my drink. I took a sip of it, and that's the last I knew. The last I knew, I was looking at him sitting there with my phone, and he his head totally changed. It was like this round ball uh, with his hair parted in the middle and over and cut weird, the squatty little, like Mad Magazine my husband used to read years ago, or people did. He didn't, I mean, you know. Um, anyway, that's the last I remember till the next morning, and I'm sitting on the bed. I think I still had all my clothes on. He comes out of the bathroom. And I, I was still drugged. He uh, left. And I thought, well, it took me a long time. I didn't get it together because I was dizzy, disoriented. I remember trying to get over to the dresser, not this one, but it's kind of like that. Got there and saw the time, and it was 3.30 or 4.30. So when he abducted me and he was with, to my opinion, this uh, family I'm talking about that's so prominent, their daughter, Jesse Matthews up here, Unless they correct me and do it the right way and, and they keep on with all this that's going on to being done to me to shut me up. Um, it was the, um, oh, what am I trying to say, inspector or whoever, detective they hired. Because they didn't like the way the Virginia State Trooper was handling it. Because, hey, they're uppity up around here. You're supposed to shut things down for them, but hell done to me. Oh, this would not look good to the world if you tell the truth. I assure you, God help me to live and my kids somewhere to live who didn't break the law and I'm the one that obeyed the law. You all are the one, all of you, that broke it. Anyway, uh, this is probably not going to go up. Well, I'll get it on here and it won't go up. Anyway, um, so I look at the clock and I think, my God, it was 3.30, I believe. So at the time he was here and abducted me and the guy that was waving his arms that morning lived on the around through the hallway on the other side of me, I think was the detective this family hired. 